how did you find it like within yourself to be concerned about another business um, that was struggling and probably not struggling in like the overall way that you experienced and it hit your home? How did you like even find a wherewithal to be concerned and thinking about somebody else the way that you were when we spoke last week? If you're in the city of Detroit, we end this together. The only way that we're gonna grow our businesses is together. Can you talk to us a little bit about uh, kind of that double whammy, right? And getting hit in both, both ways and what that experience was like for you. So for me, the big whammy was four out of the five people in my household ended up infected with COVID. So of course we passed it around not knowing that we had it and the person that gave it to us gave it to the baby first and then it just traveled itself all the way around. Um, it impacted the business because I had to shut down. Um, I didn't want to be infecting other people, you know, even though I didn't know you know, but I knew it was in my household. And at that time, it wasn't really the biggest, you know, media thing that was going on telling you what to do and, you know, all the precautions and different things like that. But common sense, if you got something that's transportable to somebody else, then just stay home. So I had to shut my business down, which kind of killed me financially. And as an entrepreneur, I am uh, self-employed. So I also drive for Lyft. I do ship for Kroger, I grocery shop and that kind of shut everything down. So all income, everything on hold, period, done. Like I have zero income and haven't had any yet since then. And that's been since March the 20th. So with that being the case, how did you find it like within yourself to be concerned about another business um, that was struggling and probably not struggling in like the overall way that you experienced and it hit your home, how did you like even find a wherewithal to be concerned and thinking about somebody else the way that you were when we spoke last week? At the end of the day, we all won. So it doesn't make a difference if you're my neighbor. It doesn't make a difference if you're my family member. It doesn't make a difference regardless. If you're in the city of Detroit, we end this together. The only way that we're going to grow our businesses is together. So if somebody else wins, it's a win for me. Because you guys at Black Leaders of Detroit, you don't have to do this. You're doing something for us in our communities, keeping our dollars circulating where they need to be circulating. You know, regardless what your race is, your religion, whatever your color is, it doesn't make a difference. One of my sisters and brothers, they, they were able to enhance and continue their business and continue to grow. And for that, I'm just extremely grateful because... Like I said, you guys don't have to do this. You're doing it because something in your heart tells you that we need to help each other. Like I said, even though I didn't get the win, I still got the win because something in my community is going to stay open because of you. And for me, man, that's priceless, man. You can't put a price on this. So for somebody that's in our community that cares about us in the community and want to do something for us, man, I'm pro us. Let's go, man. We in this together. The only way that we're going to grow our businesses is together.